Welcome to Silver Barkeep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in lovely League City, Texas. I'm going to take a look at Giesen Sauvignon Blanc out of the Marlboro region of New Zealand. Now, New Zealand puts out amazing Sauvignon Blancs. In fact, it's probably one of the, the top producers of Sauvignon Blancs in the world. Uh, it's a true, char uh, true characterization of what the French call terroir, um, which means it's not just the grapes or the producers or even the technique. That, that makes the wine great. It's the soil, it's the atmosphere, it's the, it's the weather. Um, that, that, that's, and, and so whatever it is about the, the climate and the soil in New Zealand, they put out amazing Sauvignon Blancs. And the Marlboro region it puts out the best. Uh, so I was kind of excited when I saw this, and, and so I had to make a trip downtown uh, to, uh, to Whole Foods to get this because I couldn't get it anywhere here locally close. Because um, I wanted to try it. I'd seen some good reviews on it. People were talking it up. It seemed like a product that I really needed to try, and I've been trying to find a decent non-alcoholic wine that, that I would like. Uh, most of them are really, really, really sweet and just don't have, just taste like grape juice. So I wanted to give it a shot, and I figured if somebody's going to do a Sauvignon Blanc right, it's going to be somebody out of New Zealand. So Giesen Sauvignon Blanc. So let's take a look at this. First off, Sauvignon Blanc is just almost clear with a really light straw, a really, really light straw color. And this is perfect. This looks just like a Sauvignon Blanc. Um, I mean, perfect from the color standpoint. And when you smell it, man. And, and the Sauvignon Blancs from, uh, from New Zealand tend to have a more intense aroma to them than, than some of the others, like the U.S. counterparts. And this has got it. This smells exactly like a Sauvignon Blanc, something to get excited about. Uh, now, this is where typically wines fall down as they get really sweet when we taste them. So let's give this thing a taste. When I taste this, I can taste, so first off, it's dry. Love that. It's, uh, this is the driest non-alcoholic by far. It's, it's got the dryness that you would expect from Sauvignon Blanc down. The taste profile, though, is a little bit odd. It's, it's tart, very tart, almost like a, a tart juice of some kind. Uh, but it is dry. Got to give it that. Um, and, and I will say this is probably, this probably, it is. This is the best non-alcoholic uh, still wine that I've had, uh, hands down. But really doesn't taste like a Sauvignon Blanc. It tastes very, very tart. Now, if you like tart, uh, you probably love this. Um, so I'm going to score this based on what it's supposed to I, I like the smell is great, um, the dryness is fantastic, but the fact that it's really really tart um, and um, and really just doesn't taste real Sauvignon Blancish to me. Give it a three and a half. Uh, great effort. <laughs> I love the fact that this is finally something that doesn't taste like grape juice and, and isn't just sweet. And because no matter what I've tried so far. Even if it's supposed to be a tannic red wine, it ends up being a sweet grape juice. And this is not. This is different from that. So um, if you like it tart and you like the smell of Sauvignon Blanc, uh, this, this thing is fantastic. I, I got to give it that. Um, so, um, but it's still a ways to go. But this is a much, much needed step forward from the Silver Market, the Willing Smart.